Hey guys, welcome back to the grill, guys. Thanks for joining us. You got Kettle One, Jack Daniels. Truly. And truly. <laughs> Curious minds have been asking a lot, so we figured we'd throw it out there. Get it hey, out of the way. Get it out of the way. Anyways, great cook today. Uh, Korean country style rib. My sister in law, this pet this summer, that we just, we had a family vacation and she made this and she knocked it out of the park. Shout out to you, Rita. Awesome job. I'm kind of copy catting you a little bit with a couple differences. And I'm very skeptical he's going to be able to do it on a griddle. <laughs> very skeptical. I'm a little skeptical as well. Yeah. And, you know, so there you go. She did it on a grill and it came out phenomenal. I am doing it on a griddle. Why? Pretty Cause sure because we're the griddle guys. <laughs> yeah, Plus, there's, there's that. There's one. Number two, I don't have a grill anymore. <laughs> I threw it out about well, a year ago too. and have not taken, have not bought a new one. So uh, we're going to test it out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we're going to let you know that too. Stick around to find out. It's going to be a fun cook. Cheers. All right, guys, so real quickly here, I got to get these things going. I mean, these have been marinating for 24 hours. Big and thick. piece of pork. These are thick. <laughs> so we are going to get these started. It's going to take a while. It's going to be a lot of flipping like your pork chop video. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to, you know, I want to get some crust as much as we can, but. So you're starting them I'm before starting them. we talk about what the marinade is. We're going to go into the marinade well, and show huge. you how to do it. But, uh, oh, yeah, these are thick ones. Did you have them cut them or were they like that? No, I, but these were right out of the package. Wow. The basket. The, uh, uh, the new market basket, by the way. Jeff's favorite? Yeah. So what do you get the grill? You get the grill on? I get it on medium low right now. Get things going. And you're using the 22 instead of the 36 the 22 watt. 22 because I've got the lid here. I'm hoping it helps create a little bit of that oven effect to cook the top a little bit. Just because each pork chop is the size of a small roast? Yeah, these are big. So I guess look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to be back tomorrow, see how these came yeah, out. Yeah. We're actually having these for breakfast, in case you were wondering. <laughs> you smell that, though? Oh, I can't I wait. I do. It smells marvelous. Yeah. I don't know what the over-under is on uh, you burning the marinade, but I'll take the... Uh... I think this I might have to, once in a while, move these off, clean up, and then start over, because I think it's brown sugar in here, which you will find out, and it's going to get all over. I think it's going to stick right to the griddle. All right, guys, uh, the ingredients for the marinade as I put Jeff to work. We're also doing some green beans with bacon. So I got Jeff cut doing my prep work for me like a good guy. Appreciate that, Jeff. But let's get right to the marinade. I'll show you guys one cup of sugar, brown sugar. Then we're gonna do one cup of soy sauce. The double uh, dark? This is double dark that I have here and I didn't have enough so we're gonna mix it a little bit with, which Nate kindly brought over from his house. With the soy sauce from Nate's house? Get a full cup of that. I don't like the uh, pours on the, the, on spout, the, soy on, sauce. the spout on this soy. The other one pours right out. This one trickles. It goes right in. Half a cup of water. And we use for that aroma in the background is a distraction. I just want to. <laughs> it smells good. good. No, it smells good. A cup of uh, rice, rice wine vinegar. It smells incredible. We've got finely diced one small white onion. It's starting to feel like this is a Jeff marinade, Chris. 12, 13, 15 ingredients. I'm, I'm counting, and he's definitely up into the territory. We've got eight cloves of garlic minced. Eight. Eight. So just a little bit of garlic. Just a little bit. Then we have some. When's it going to end? <laughs> When's it going to end? When does it stop? <laughs> Two tablespoons. I'm going to eyeball that. Hang on, everyone. I'm going to run to the market and grab, grab seven more ingredients for this. Can you grab a tent for one of these rips too are done, much. too? <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, black pepper, which I forgot inside. Oh, no, no, you got it. Black pepper. Um, so this is where my sister-in-law Rita stopped. I can't do that. I'm a girl guy's got to make it our own. <laughs> it, hers is very sweet. I'm going to try to add a little heat. So my favorite. Cayenne. Some cayenne is go-to for everything. <laughs> now you guys do not have to add this. This is just the guys like it spicy and I like it spicy. And I can't stop there. I'm gonna add some sriracha. You know, we haven't done spicy pancakes yet. That's we could. Like that's about the only thing. Probably about a full tablespoon of sriracha. And that's it. That's oh. it, Nate. Oh, that's is that it. all? Is that, that all? That's all, all it right. is. This is gonna score very low on the uh <laughs> <laughs> that's a card for I had it all. It's leaking. Oh man. 
<laughs> That's my platter too. Damn it. So it's gonna score low for I had all the ingredients in my kitchen. That's it. That's our marinade. So I'm gonna use a little extra for that for the end of this cook, and I'm actually gonna probably take the rest and freeze it and use it for something else. I wanna do it with some steak. So Jeff, you done? Almost? Taking yeah. you so long. Yeah, I'm taking my time. It's nice though. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice day. We're having a good time. Yeah. I, you know, got the drink on. You I'm know? gonna clean up. Should I just have Nate clean up this mess that I just made? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy over here doing Damn. nothing. Busy over here doing nothing. He's very Pay busy. Pay no attention to the man doing nothing. All right, I'm gonna clean up, put all this stuff away. So we got a team effort here. Yeah. <laughs> These have to be moved constantly. The brown sugar, when it really does burn very quickly, I had to move these around, scrape the bottom, get some of that guck off the griddle, which comes off very easily, by the way. It's not that hot at all. But we're getting some good color on the sides we want. Get the heat on low, and we're just gonna keep tossing them. Again, if you haven't seen Nate's video where he did the two and a half inch pork chop, yeah, we'll have that down at the end. did the same thing. We'll yeah, have the we'll link at the link. end. Put it, Jeff, we're gonna put a link up here. Down, down. You can wait till the end. That yeah. way we know that you stay yeah. till the end. <laughs> Nate's getting the griddle ready. Jeff just was kind enough to chop up all the bacon into dice, and dice size and cut the ends off the green beans. And Nate's getting the griddle ready right now. Little trick. Nate's actually doing work, guys. Like the first video. And how many, Jeff? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Since before. I'm always, I'm always working behind the scenes, Chris. I think he was working before. You just his, like five vacations that he took. You just don't give me credit. I that's all. Stay working. Is it? Is it? Is it? Relaxing your ass cheeks? Does that work? <laughs> i tell you, kids nowadays, with their work ethic. <laughs> well, yeah, right? You guys just don't uh, appreciate it, that's all. You don't wanna all. go down that road. Anyway, we're gonna get the bacon down first, throw it right on there, and then, uh, again, three quarter of the way, cook. Whoop, look at that. There it goes. Three quarter Who of the way. Who let Chris touch the camera? Yeah, I shouldn't be touching this thing. I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> anyway, three quarters of the way with the bacon, and then we're gonna throw the green beans on. Stick around. <laughs> All right, guys, a little moving around, a lot more than I was anticipating. I, I knew I was gonna have to do some cleaning and moving, but these look fantastic. They're right now, I shut the heat off on this side. They're at 150, just gonna let it cook a little longer. We're gonna take them off. We're gonna throw a little more of the uh, marinade on them. Let them sit. So how long, it's been what, about 20, 25 minutes? Yeah, about almost 25 minutes or and so. And you've had the griddle on low, right? I've had the griddle on low the whole time. They look phenomenal. I just hope they taste phenomenal. <laughs> We're gonna see. Nate, Nate's doing a little. I'm doing cook. an experiment for oh, our next cook. I'm for his next cook. playing with some dough. <laughs> Nate's throwing me off, off my game a little bit with this bread. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of griddle, plenty of real estate there, brother. Plenty of real estate. And that is yes. how to bake. Tell you what, Chris. No, no, no. Does no. that help? No, no, no. <laughs> Jeff, you did have a good idea. Once to pour some of that marinade over the bacon and the green beans when it's done. Not bad. <laughs> be a nice, like, sugary reduction. All right, guys, this is simple. We've done it in, I think, another cooker at one point. Just let the bacon cook. Three quarters away, throw the green beans right on top of them. Get all that nice bacon grease right into it. And these come out good. I don't like green beans, but I like them this way. All right, so the bacon, Jeff, you want to uh, pan down. Just about, you know, three quarters done. Gonna leave that bacon fat right on there and throw the green beans right up there. Get them going, get them all nice as flat as I can. You got the all four burners on low? Yeah, we're on low everywhere. Those are looking good. You can take a look at that if you want, Jeff. We got them standing on edge. Burning the edges right now. Crisping up that Right around 150. They're just fat. about done. I'd say they're done almost. <laughs> <laughs> just about. It's been about, what, 45 minutes? I'd say they're done. Uh, 40, almost. 40 minutes. A little bit easier on the grill. Rita was probably start to finish. She had a small grill to work with, half the size of this. And she cooked double what I have right there. And it, it took her maybe a half an hour on the, on the, on the grill. So there is an advantage for that, for sure. But we did get the crust on this one, I'm very happy, but I just wanna make sure we get the taste. So we're gonna find out. All right, guys, so this is what happens when a griddle guy goes to the uh, out, of, out of frame and forgets that they got their <laughs> mic on. taking a leak. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Nate. Nate, right on top of things. It's like a freaking racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, this happens about three times a cook. Again, kettle one, Jack Daniels, wow. and truly. <laughs> Just picked up steam. <laughs> That's that truly, it's water. What, you got a pitcher in there? It's the, <laughs> it's, it's the water, it goes right through you. All right, that's looking good. Oh, Look there it is, it. it's done. <laughs> yeah. Wash your hands. You shake? Yeah, you better. You're on it now. 
So my Nate's, God. Nate still hasn't come outside. Yeah, he went back in. <laughs> that truly. <laughs> I'm anyway. coming. I'm coming. Oh, there he is. I'm just. We're just about at temperature. Most of them are between 142 and 160. So, gave him a nice little flip, and just gonna throw a little more drizzle on them. We'll let that cook up just for a couple minutes, and we're gonna take them off. We'll plate everything up. Really intense garlic oh, smell. Oh, yep. oh, oh yeah. yeah. But this you will destroy me. your griddle. Yes, for sure. He's you're, looking good. You're too. gonna need a two-handed scraper. Yeah, you can flip those. Those are done. Mix them all up a little bit. And we're gonna be good to go. All right, guys, so we're all done. We pasted, tested, um, loved. Loved, Jeff says, which I'm happy to hear. Sorry, did I cut? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm gonna be up front. Rita, you did a fantastic job on the grill. And honestly, if I was to do this again and I had a grill, I would do it on the grill. Really? I think it's a lot easier to cook on a grill. The griddle, you can't get the evenness cooked throughout the whole country rib. You know, you have one end that cooks more than the other end, and it so just get... wasn't smooth going all the way through. And we moved them a lot just to try to, to compensate for that, but it didn't work. Yeah, you got the white meat and the dark meat. Kind of cook at different temperatures right. or cook at different rates we right. should say we had these upside down sideways on the head <laughs> you know i mean it was good i'm very happy with it i liked it definitely came out uh, a little bit on the medium rare side in some areas i'm i'm okay with i like it uh, but I, honestly i think that we didn't get the char that we wanted to that you get from a grill would you agree with that jeff no no <laughs> no this is this is my favorite line i'm going to use right now we, we can agree to disagree okay Phil. all right <laughs> But it was, I loved it. The other thing was the heat that I added, I wasn't getting any of that uh, through the marinade. The cayenne I, I pepper and the sriracha. Yeah, I marinated these for 24 hours and Rita, if I recall, only did it for like a couple hours and the flavor was just through the whole thing. Uh, maybe she gave a couple secrets she didn't tell me about. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to talk about that. But uh, I don't feel like it, it was penetrated through the whole meat a little bit. It was, you get a nice little touch of it. But I was looking for a little bit of heat. Maybe I just didn't put enough in. The marinade is very good. I, I kind of like it. Uh, the marinade is delicious. It is delicious. Creamy yeah. as a killer as usual. Yeah. It's got the sweet. It's very sweet, which yeah. I like. Yeah. It's good. But I wanted that heat with it. Green beans are definitely a winner. Mm -hmm. Green beans and bacon. I hate green beans, but I love them. Put anything yep. with bacon and it's good. <laughs> True. I'm convinced. True. I'm convinced. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us, Rita. Appreciate you uh, sharing your recipe with me. Thank, Thank you, so Rita. Much. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Comment. Comment, guys. Well, you might not respond to all of them, but we do read them all, and we try to get back to everybody. Is, is that a shot at me? No, it's not a shot at anybody. I'm sorry. It's not a shot at anybody. it's a shot at me. I'll get back on it. But please, continue with the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And if you have any ideas for us, shout them out. For, we're always open to ideas. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Chris. Cheers to you guys. We'll see you in the next video.